So okay, in this video I'm going to show you my sky shader pack that is available on Gumroad ArtStation and also on my Patreon page, the links to it are in the description. So if you open the blend file you basically have a giant cube in a scene and if you go to the render view you can see that it has a cloud material. So right now the detail sky 1 is plugged into the volume and I basically did a bunch of node stuff and created easy controllable sliders for this whole system. Yeah, you can just play around with these settings and see what they are doing to the look of the clouds. This detail sky 1 here for example is made out of three layers and you can have controls for all of them individually change the mix between all of these layers. There are also some overall settings like the seed. You can just play around with this and basically generate an um, infinite amount of cloud shapes. And these are all responsive to the sky texture from Blender. So you can just um, easily change the time of day and the direction of the light. You also have control for the location so you can easily create keyframes and add realistic moving clouds to your scene. Because the problem with using HDR eyes is that they're all stationary images and in reality there's always some um, at least small movement in the cloud so using this system can add a lot of realism. And this is one of these cloud shaders. Let's try out another one. Let's take the gravity wave clouds and just plug this one into the volume and get all kinds of results. I put a description on a few of these nodes which layer thickness I would recommend for these node setups because here is a a node that, it's, that is called cloud layer thickness and if you increase that number the cube here basically gets thicker which makes the clouds also a lot thicker. Yeah, let's take the small spot clouds here for example and just plug it into the volume and here I wrote that I recommend a layer thickness of 10 so let's increase that number here. Yeah, you can see that we now have the correct cloud shapes. Yeah, you have also a bunch of settings for these here. And what also plays a big role in these settings here is the volume step rate in the render settings here. You can see that uh, right now I put these to 0.2. By default it is set to 1, but for thicker clouds you can see if you have this up to 1 and even if you increase the density to 1000 nothing happens because it is also dependent on the step rate here. So if you want to use thicker cloud layers and want them to be a lot denser then you have to decrease the step rate which will also increase the amount of noise and the render time a little bit. There's also an empty in the scene that you can use to rotate the clouds. So if you want to copy this into your own scene, you just have to select a cloud layer and copy that object and go to your other scene and just create a new collection name it's sky and just paste the giant cube in here. Um, right now you can't see the cube because it is too far in the distance. So what you have to do is select your camera and by default the view end is set to 1000 in Blender. So let's add a few zeros and now you can see that we can at least see the cube. You also have to do this for the view part. So go up here and add a few zeros also here. So if we go to the rendered view you can see that the clouds are in our scene. Now you just have to adjust the position of the cube and I'm also going to rotate the cloud layer so it won't stop before the horizon. So now we can see that we already got some interesting results with these clouds here. Now you can just play around with the lighting and get your desired look for your sky. So we can also try out some other cloud settings. Let's use the gravity waves here, plug that into the volume and decrease the scale to 0.4 layer thickness and then we can just play around with the lighting here and yeah that's that's interesting just try out all of these cloud settings What you could also do is mix between different cloud layers so um, just add a mix node in mix shader here and plug the let's take the detail sky here then just use a noise texture and plug it into the factor and now you can use the noise to control the mix between um, these different cloud layers increase the contrast of the color wrap yeah it mixes between different clouds you can also change the color of the clouds which will give you some very psychedelic tripped out results 
so there are a lot of possibilities with this cloud shader.